recording has started. Ooh. And go live. Sweet. Here we go. Sweet. Let us. Alrighty. Now then, let us continue with the exploration of the house with many doors. Alright. Gotta move the screen over. Alright. Alright, here we go. Good night. Alright. Alright. <laughs> Alright, so, we woke up after a horrible dream. That is where we have left off. Now then. Oh, I hear footsteps. Interesting. Alright, so let's just take a gander at what's in our inventory right now. We have my grappling hook launcher, made to look like an umbrella. Handy. It's a copy of the local paper, dated last Friday. Already read that. An ordinary twig from the garden. It's a length of slim extension cord. It's an article cut from a magazine called Treasure Hunting Monthly. We already read that. All right, we don't have anything we particularly need to use, so. All right, so, oh, no, Trilby. I don't, yeah, okay, so, let's. All right, I guess it's time to go take a look around. Mm -hmm. Let's see what we can find in this mysterious house. Uh, this door is different. Let's take a look. Someone seems to have broken the lock off this door. Oh. Hello, creaking. Well, hi there. Simone. Let's talk to Simone. Hey, Miss Taylor. Ah, hello, Mr. Trilby. See you later. Do you know where the others <laughs> are? Well, Philip said he was going into the garden. I don't know where Jim is. And AJ's still missing. Thanks. Did you sleep well? To be honest, not really. I had this terrible dream. Someone had killed you and Philip and Jim. I remember a huge guy with a welding mask. Let me guess. He took off the mask, and he looked exactly like you. No. Actually, he looked exactly like you. What does it mean? Frankly, I don't want to know. Did you break the lock on the door? No, I just came up here, and it was like that. I suppose AJ must have done it. He must have been reading from that pile of books. I don't know. I don't know exactly. I'd have to ask him. So I take it AJ hasn't turned up yet? No. Do you think he found a way out? If he did, he didn't have the decency to tell us. I wouldn't be surprised. He's kind of jumpy. Maybe he just saw an opportunity and took it. Maybe. What do you know about AJ? Not much. He refused to tell us anything about himself. Where he came from, why he came here. Not even his full name. Kind of suspicious, isn't it? Do you think he had some kind of agenda? I really wouldn't know. Of course, you're no one to judge when it comes to withholding names. <laughs> How are you holding up? Oh, spare me the gallantry. I'm just fine. Alright, I'll see you later. Sure. Alright, let's take a look at some of these books. Let's see what we got here. We have... The 1988 edition of the Encyclopedia Britannica, with Wagner to Woodhouse missing. Interesting. Alright. A complete, unabridged Oxford English Dictionary. These don't come cheap. De Delia's How to Cook series. 
Interesting. A couple of binders containing old architectural plans for Defoe Manor. A collection of old road maps and atlases, probably tragically out of date. All right. Lovingly bound textbooks on gardening. Books on the occult? No doubt interesting bedtime reading. This shelf was full of nothing but photo albums. Books on photography, cartooning, and watercoloring. A sun-bleached skull. Probably placed here to add a gothic ambience. Yeah. Some of P.G. Woodhouse's best. All right. Several volumes of something called The Digest of the Visual Arts. Evidently, someone's been doing a little research here. Historical texts on most of the really well-known noble families. Hmm, the history of Defoe lineage. That looks interesting. All right. Well, let's see. Can we pick up from here? Oh, it's here, by the way. I don't... I can't think of a use for any of these books at the moment. All right. How about this one? I think it's about time I read up on the Defoe family. All right, let's take a look. Family history. The history of the Defoe family. Volume, oh, I'm trying to think, because it's V. so volume seven. Seven. Yeah. Roderick Defoe, later Sir Roderick Defoe, is probably the most famous of the lineage. Using a lot of the inheritance he attained when his parents died suddenly, he embarked on a series of adventures throughout the globe, earning quite a reputation as a colonial explorer. He retired from adventuring at the age of 40, when he met his future bride, Belinda Rothman, and fell instantly in love. He built a luxury manor in the English countryside, and the couple moved in as soon as the work was complete. By all accounts, the couple were deliriously happy, which is what made Belinda's sudden death while giving birth to their only son, Matthew, all the more tragic. Sir Roderick was in mourning for a long time, leaving the upbringing of Matthew in the hands of numerous nannies and tutors. When he finally did start taking an interest in his son, he was known to be bitterly disappointed as his son rejected the idea of joining the army, preferring to pursue art and literature. As Matthew neared the age of 15, however, he and his father seemed to grow closer. They didn't always see eye to eye, but they seemed to understand each other and offer unconditional love. And then, on Matthew's 15th birthday, he and Roderick disappeared. A servant found bloodstains in one of the rooms, but no bodies were found. The fate of Sir Roderick and his wayward son remains a mystery to this day, the first of many mysterious disappearances connected to the Defoe line and the family house. Mystery abound. Let's try, let's try to grab some of these other books. I can't think of what to do with it. I can't think of a use for any of these books at the moment. I can't think of a use for any of these. The use is to read them, Trilby. <laughs> All right. I don't want the nasty thing. Excuse me. <laughs> Sorry. I don't want the nasty thing. All right. Looking good. Okay. What about this ficus? Oh, I can't pick up the ficus. Okay, cool. Ficus. All right. Ficus. All right. Well, I guess that I guess the only thing that we can do now is go back downstairs because none of the other doors seem to be unlocked. Oh. Uh, is the painting different? It's certainly. Uh... It's a portrait of an aging man in a safari suit. The plaque reads Sir Roderick Defoe. I don't think he was aging before. No. Rowan, hey, you're probably wrong. Jim? Hi, Mr. Trilby. What are you reading there? Treasure Island. I found it in the living room. How are you liking it? Well, it's a bit heavy going. I think I prefer Terry Pratchett. 
I mean, yeah, I mean, Discworld, <clears throat> yep. Seen AJ anywhere. Not since yesterday morning. He seemed pretty anxious about something. Did he say why? No. Just said something about getting to the bottom of all this. You're not Delavish, are you? Then he left the room and I never saw him again. Huh. How are you feeling? Okay, I guess. I had this really horrible dream. Uh, but you don't want to hear about it. You're taking this imprisonment thing very well, I must say. Well, it's not that different to boarding school, really. But um, tish. Except there's no <laughs> one to hit you across the knuckles when you talk too much at night. Damn. Oh. Poor yeah. Jim. That's all. Okay, Mr. Trilby. I wonder if he's, I wonder if I look at him if he says anything about <laughs> Jim Jim's can't a be, good no. lad. Oh, I can't look. I can't look at the. I can't interact with the book. Okay. Cool. I Jim want to read Trilby. All right. And then Doctor Livesey said, "Rum and death." Hold on, let's see if anything's changed out here. Has this door mysteriously become unlocked? It doesn't look any different. Locked. Uh, doesn't anyone open this stupid place? Alright. Let's take a look at the pool. The water is deep and smells strongly of chlorine. There is a blurry shape visible in the water, but I can't tell what it is. Perhaps if the pool were drained. Um. It looks like. All right, guys, get a straw. We need to empty the we need to empty the pool. Uh, we would die of chlorine poisoning. Oh, hi, Jim. <laughs> or not Jim. Hi, Phil. Phil a party, rather wild-eyed young man in a jacket and khakis. Doesn't say anything about. All right, cool. Phil. Hey, Mr. Hardy. Well, look who's up. Do you know if AJ's turned up yet? Come on. Do you know if AJ's turned up yet? Not to my knowledge. In fact, I don't think we'll be seeing him ever again. Uh... Why not? Well, if this is some kind of reality TV stunt, he must have been in on it. Maybe he's gone to, the f to file reports on how all the hidden cameras are working. I honestly doubt this is the work of the BBC, Philip. Do you have a better explanation? Maybe Not dead. yet. Well, then. <laughs> I don't know why I said it like that. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, Reefer, that is a better assumption than, oh yeah, this is reality TV. What are you doing with that metal detector? It's actually part of the plan to get out of here. Is it now? Oh, good. <laughs> I've heard there's some kind of family tomb buried somewhere under the grounds. If I can find it, there might be another way to the surface. <laughs> And I presume any family valuables they have down there would be an unexpected bonus. <laughs> hey, judge not least ye be judged yourself. You're a cat burglar for God's sake. At least I have a sense of priorities. Well, when you've found an escape route and saved us all, I'll be sure to apologize profusely. Alright, fine, dick. How do you know the tomb's <laughs> there? Right back at you, bitch. How do you know the tomb's there? I don't. That's what the metal detector's for. Kadoi. How do you know there's anything to detect? It's probably all stone and dusty corpses. Actually, you'd be surprised how much metal can be found in a tomb. Belt buckles, coffin handles, candlesticks. Those are usually, well, yeah, gold, silverware. Implying something? Oh, goodness me, no. Listen, the tomb could be on the other side of the grounds for all you know. Sure, but this is as good a place to start as any. And until I see some compelling evidence for its location, I'll continue my systematic sweep. You're trying to imply something? Oh, I would never. 
Can I borrow your metal detector? What do you want it for? I'm not sure yet. Brilliant. Well, I'll give you a shout when I'm finished with it. On. There we go. Are you the one who dug up half the half the lawn? Yeah. I was trying to dig my way out of this place. But the ground gets really solid two feet down, and the wall foundations go even further. Well, that would explain the holes nearest the walls. What about the others? <sighs> Alright, I was looking for treasure. Happy now? You want some kind of metal? Just professional interest, you understand. Any luck? With treasure? Nah. Found some kind of pipeline running under the lawn, but not much else. Uh huh. Hmm. How are you doing? Oh, I'm just fine. And when I find the way out, I'll be even better. Alright, I guess I'll see you around. Whatever. <laughs> Adios. <laughs> Toodaloo, 23 skadoo, ciao. Alright. Well, I, I guess... AJ's dead. Well, I <laughs> guess there's only one thing to do. We gotta Game force theory. that metal detector out of his hand. Let's find a, something to beat him with. No. <laughs> what? Game, Game theory is the AJ the ordinary twig he found. <laughs> AJ's the twig. <laughs> That would be that would be a weird twist. AJ was turned into a stick. No, not a twist, a twig. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> a map is always handy. Let's take a look at this map. Where is the map? There's I, the I, map. Oh, I what? was being oh, I was being a smartass when I said that. I know I you didn't. were being a smartass. Yeah. <laughs> Can I it's be a smartass? I mean, sure, I don't know how, and eh, whatever. It's a very old architectural plan of Defoe Manor. There's Defoe Manor with the underground tomb clearly marked as being under the front yard. There's something odd about this map, like there's something missing. No, not that. There's something here that doesn't belong. Something I don't recall seeing in the house. See anything that looks suspicious, Ari? Uh... Alright, so. We're here on the second floor. We're in this room. Second floor looks fine. Go down the stairs. This is the front hallway. This is the lounge. This is the room where the TV was, and this is the room that has the fireplace. Over here, this is the dining room where Jim is, this would be the kitchen, and then the backyard. Is there something there that's not supposed to be there? Can I get? Perry, you already know what Perry, you already know what it is. I was gonna say a wrong answer anyways. Oh, okay. I um uh, uh, uh think about it a little bit <laughs> think about it a little bit meanwhile <laughs> meanwhile I'm gonna go and show this to Philip a severed hand no I don't have a severed hand that doesn't happen for Put another that 400 that doesn't happen for another 400 years <laughs> give or take Excuse me, Philip. I believe I have something to show you. It's a box. Hey, Mr. Hardy. I found this old map in the library. Did you? Take a look. The tomb is quite clearly under the front yard. But this is the backyard. There's no way into the front yard. 
Exactly. Sucks, doesn't it? Well, I guess that's my escape plan out the window. Thanks a bunch, buddy. Don't mention it. Can I borrow the metal detector? Why the hell not? Take away my hopes? Might as well take my only worldly possession, too. Don't Have worry, fun with it. <laughs> Thanks. Hi. Now, do excuse me. Sorry, pissy pants. All right, now then, let's take, let's use said metal detector. I can track where this pipeline leads with the metal detector. The trail ends here. All right. And what have we here? Phillips Laborings must have covered it up. It's a panel. Well, that didn't seem to do anything. All right. Well, I guess it's back to square one. That didn't seem to do anything, so let's go back and... Oh. Did it? Yep. Yeah. All right, well, let's take a look. Uh, okay, I can't actually look down into it while it's drained. Cool. All right, I guess down we go. Christ! Oh, Christ. Fine. This is definitely the man I met in the landing. Presumably AJ. I knew it. Looks like someone tied him to an iron hook at the bottom of the pool. But I think he was dead before then. His throat's been split open by some large edged weapon. God, the stench. I've got to find the others. I knew it. Dead? How? Murdered. He was stabbed to death and tied to the bottom of the pool. Oh my god. You know what this means, don't you? We are the only ones in this house. The killer has to be one of us. Not necessarily. I don't think any of us could engineer. Shut up! It was you, wasn't it? You killed AJ and now you're covering your tracks. Philip, you're being absurd. Yes, Why would Trilby tell us where the body is if he wanted to hide it? He's covering his tracks. He was the last to arrive. Don't tell me you're not a bit suspicious of him. Uh, look, what happened to AJ was a terrible thing. But if we let it tear us apart, we could all go the same way. He's got a point, Philip. Oh, I see. You're all in on this together. Philip. Shut up! As far as I'm concerned, there's no one I can trust anymore. <laughs> Dickhead. From now on, it's every man for themselves. I don't know what to think anymore. Philip! I get on my head. <laughs> Idiot. Okay, He's shaken. <laughs> we all are. So what do you think? About AJ, I mean. I'm really not sure. I think we're being haunted. Oh. Well, at least someone's keeping their head. Look, I'm not exactly in love with such an unscientific idea as a murderous ghost. But nothing other than the supernatural could have engineered this situation. And this house has a bad history. A history I think it's time I started looking into. Oh, there goes Pug. Pug. Well, you do whatever you want. I think I'm going to look into AJ's death with a slightly more sensible attitude. Damn. Where's mm -hmm. Jim? Someone should tell him about AJ. I think he went upstairs. I'll go look for him. Father? Jim? Jim, is that you? Uh... What are you doing, Father? F what? Father, no! No, don't! Father! Father! Hold on! What the hell? Uh... Uh... Mr. Trilby? 
Oh. Day three. Hey, Jim, is Jim? that you? Sorry, Mr. Trilby. You wanted me to wake you? Did I? You remember yesterday? You told me about AJ, then said you were going to look into the house. What? Then you asked me to wake you this morning so you could get started. Yes, I remember. Thank you, Jim. Anytime. All right. Oh. Hey, Jim, is that you in there? Father? Hey, yo, what? Hey, yo, what? <laughs> daddy? Bitch, do I look like your daddy? Make yeah. it hell. Do I look like... Do I look like y'all, daddy? All the right. fuck yeah. I look like... All right, so that's day four of that one. All right. Uh, before we start the next one, uh, I just wanted to ask him what we're gonna do about this the, on Wednesday. Well, I'm still gonna continue. Yeah. I mean, yeah. If anyone, I'm not gonna be at movie night, so okay, whatever. Okay. Just let me know. Yeah, I mean, hell, these things don't you don't take that long. Chances mm -hmm. are, we'll be he'll be able to hop in in time for like the last shows like Yu Hakushu. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. What do you think, Loki? Good you chunky cat. Yuki. Good you chunky cat. Like Alright. Like now on to Seven Days of Skeptic. Alright. Let us... Let us load where we left off yesterday. Stream day three. All right. Ah, yes, we were in the holding cell. Uh, let's take a look at our surroundings. Well, we have already been in here. Let's take this towel rail. Cool. We have a towel rail now. Awesome. I don't need to. Top 10 iconic video game weapons. Alright. Commander? Yes, Doctor? This is a blatant abuse of power. I question your use of language, Doctor. You can't imprison people without cause. What are you talking about? You are the prime suspect in the killings. Admittedly, not much on not on much evidence, but you are nonetheless. Fucking I have acted bitch. entirely logically. I'm afraid, as counselor, I must relieve you from duty. Regulations empower me to do so in the event of a mental breakdown in the commanding officer. Earth Federation Code 1701. I am aware of the code, Doctor. However, Code 980 gives me the power to hold suspicious individuals up for seven days in the event of serious crime on board ship. And Code 1701 does not apply when the counselor, him or herself, is under investigation. Bitch. I didn't kill anyone. Whether or not you did is currently immaterial. I told you, this is merely a precautionary measure. I was outside when Serena disappeared. And you can explain all that to the investigators. Oh, sweet lord. Rest assured, Doctor, if you truly are innocent, the evidence will acquit you. In today's foolproof modern era, wrongful arrest is increasingly unlikely. How much longer till the investigators get here? Their ETA is around noon on Sunday. You have three more days to practice your explanations. Right. What about the locker? You are becoming obsessed with that article. I have told you before it was nothing but useless space debris. The murders of two crewmen are slightly more of an issue at the moment. But what if there is a connection somehow? How could there possibly be a connection? It is an empty steel box left afloat in space for thousands of years. Are you suggesting the murderer was hiding inside? Alright. 
Angela, while I'm here, the real killer is still loose. Oh, yes, I forgot. You were doing some little investigations of your own. Who do you have pinned down for the real killer? I think there's someone else on board. Clearly. How could another person have possibly gotten aboard? The internal scanners would have spotted them. What if they weren't a physical being? Doctor, I have no idea what you think you're talking about. Even if a non-physical being, even if non-physical beings existed, they cannot murder corporeal entities. Uh, Commander, behind you! Uh, Counselor, please. Even if I... Told you so. I fucking knew she was gonna die. Angela! Okay, I have to pick up the gun. This is just a stun gun. I don't know how long that will hold him. Go, 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 go. Looking for booty. <laughs> I'm sorry, Barry. You like ya? Uh. You like ya? Angela is dead. Her neck is severely broken. And I knew that bitch was about to die. <laughs> You just got rid of the living evidence, man. <laughs> Burn everything. Uh, what? I, <laughs> I knew that would work. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! I, I, I can't remember if you... I can't remember if you what? showed me that last no, time. No, I never you did have. This. I just thought of it. I was what? like, I wonder if I can erect a dead body. <laughs> Hold on, now I gotta try something. Hold on, now. Uh -oh. Angela is dead. There is no doubt at all uh -oh. about that. Oh yes, of course. There's no what? doubt at all that she's dead. What would uh -oh. it say if you tried using the stun gun? No use shooting a corpse. Oh my god. I may need it. <laughs> All right. Cool. Well, that's awkward. All right. Well, she's just there now. Cool. I just thought well, of it. I just thought of it, and I was like, "Oh, that's a smart idea." It's, it's, it's like those videos about fan theories of games where it's like, "Can you prevent this character from dying?" Technically, it is. It just shows that they hacked the game and nothing really changes because it's not even mm. coded into the game. Aww, so there's no real Adam. point of the video. Poor, oh, Ad poor Adam. Adam. Alan! Oh, wait. Oh, I should have showed him the hand. Adam, it's okay. He's dead. Really? You saw him killed? Did it with my own two hands. Was he after us, John? I have no idea. Come on, get out of there. I'll gather everyone else up and we'll meet up on the bridge. Okay, John. Hey, Adam, hold up. I got something to show you. I have a hand. Oh, no. I have a hand for you. <laughs> oh, what is it, John? <sighs> Oh my god! I didn't know that I could do that with Angela though. She just spun she just spun a circle and woke up. She like, just woo woo like, woo. She was like a it's like she died in Link to the Past, but it was in reverse. <laughs> the whole little spin. No! Oh god! It's okay, it's me. I killed him. You killed the captain? Are you sure? Unless he can survive a fall down the reactor pit. Oh, thank Christ. John, you, you're you a guardian angel. That's what you are. Are you coming out of there? 
Uh, no. I've just got some things to sort out in here. I'll meet you on the bridge in about ten minutes. We can talk about what to do next. The reason he's always locked in the room is because he's just constantly relieving stress. <laughs> Is Commander Garrett joining us? Angela, she was guarding me when it arrived. It killed her. Don't you think we refer to it as him? Don't misgender. I don't know. The point is, he's dead now, right? We're all okay now, aren't we? No. I don't know about that either. For some reason, when Barry was on the loose just now, it didn't seem like him. Looked a lot like him. No, I see what John's saying. It looked like Barry, but it wasn't him. Like something was controlling him. And let's not forget, Barry is dead. We don't know that. All John saw was a spacesuit, and that disappeared. I mean, the sensors never picked up more than four lifeforms on board, three after we lost Angela. Whatever that thing was, it had no life signs. This is getting very disturbing. Yeah, but we're safe now, aren't we? Somehow no. I doubt it. Whatever made Barry rise from the grave may still be present. For caution's sake, I think we should get off the ship now. William, isn't there some rule about ship's doctors being given the key to one of the escape pods? Some regulation to do with medical emergencies? Yes, I have access to escape pod C. But surely you don't think it's necessary. <laughs> it's just three more days until help arrives. William, in the last three days, half the crew have been wiped out. Okay, okay, we'll take the pod. First we have to fuel it, warm up the engines, and run a systems check. That'll take a few hours. Then we should all try to get some sleep. We'll get the hell out of here first thing tomorrow. Like, that's a good idea. Friday. It's Friday. Friday. It's Friday, yeah, we'll get up in the body. Adam, stop pacing. Alan. It's almost nine o'clock. <clears throat> Where the hell is he? Dead. He could just have overslept. You're just saying that so I don't flip out. Look, you wait here. I'll go down to his quarters to check on him. Okay. But first I want to show you something. Look at this, Adam. <laughs> oh, for God's sake, John! That's gross! Get that thing away from me! I think it might be Serena's. I don't care. Get rid of it. I still love how you oh how you deliver that whole. I think it's Serena's. <laughs> it's like a child picking up some sort of bug and throwing it at someone's face, and they're like, "Oh God, bring it away, bring it away." I think Get it's away. albino. Get away from me. <laughs> I, okay, it's Lex Fidget. Take it away! I was not... I, I was... I genuinely was not expecting Angela to fucking wake up when I showed her the hand. She just spun in a circle! I was like, uh, what? It's like, okay, her turning to look at... Her turning to look at you, fine, I could expect that. But the fact she spun around like it was an animation... <laughs> Alright, All right, let us continue with the sacrifices. <laughs> An apple a day keeps the cancer away. Alright. Of course, man. Let's see if we go in the hallway. Oh! Um. The hall's changing more. Not man, oh. father. 
Well, since we couldn't go out the... Actually, hold on. Let's check one thing first. Jim, is that you? We weren't you able to go father? through this door until we went out of the hallway. Let's see if we can go through it now. Uh. Huh? Uh. What? Ah! Who are you? Could you tell me where I am? You're... You're dead! I saw you die! Dead? Yes. I remember um. being dead. But I don't remember you. Y your guts were torn out! The blood's still on the floor! Honestly? Huh. Perhaps it's best that I don't remember. Uh. <laughs> so where am I? This is impossible. Are you going to answer my questions anytime soon? Well, hi there, mister. Let's have a con- Let's take a look. A tall and athletic man, physically in his early 30s, wearing absurdly old-fashioned clothes. Same as before. I'd be no match for me even if my neck wasn't broken. I just love the idea that's like, you were literally seething on the ground. I saw you cough up blood and a lung and then you just gave out. Oh, really? <laughs> Gosh, that's embarrassing. <laughs> For some reason, I'm remembering that John Tron bit where it's like, it's like, it's like, no, I saw your soul leave your body, Jay. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> Jesus. Sorry. Sorry, I was getting my drinky drink. Hi, oh. Nico. Hey, sis. Mickey's. So we found a glitch that I wasn't aware of. Oh, I'll show you. I'll show you after we finish up, because uh, we're on six days of sacrifice. I'll show you after the, after we finish up the uh, day four. I was not expecting it, and it gave me a bit of a shock. Uh, it, it, here's the thing: it's about as good as uh, it's about as good as. What are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? Yeah, it's it's a, more. Yeah. It's more shocking than Adam when he sees a hand. Yeah, it, it's a, it's oh. that level of funny. All right, so... Hold, all right. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let me make it to our curse can hear it then. Oh, oh well, well I'm, not, I'm not showing it right now. I was say, I'm, not show, I'm not showing it right now. I'm, I'll, yeah. I'll show after we're done with day four of Six Days of Sacrifice, because then I'll okay, be able to stop the stream and show you. But <laughs> Now then, let's talk to Trilby. Yes? I have to go. <laughs> Who are you? My name is Trilby. That much I know. Oh. Even that sole fact isn't sufficient, though. I get the feeling I have, or had, other names in the past. Trilby the Cat Burglar? Cat Burglar. Yes, that was one of my names. You can't possibly be Trilby. Nevertheless, I'm certain Trilby is my name. I keep stealing cats. I am but a cat burglar. Trilby died <clears throat> hundreds of years ago. And I already told you. I remember that I was dead. So your statement only further reinforces my claim. I am dead. This doesn't make any sense. And yet here we are. How did you come back to life? I don't know yet. <laughs> you do know that resurrection is completely impossible, right? I thought I knew it. Recent events are forcing me to reassess this, however. All I know is that I was dead, and now I am alive again. Refusing to believe this will not answer my questions. And now I am talking to you. <laughs> you don't remember working for the Order? Order? The Order of Blessed Agonies? Agonies. I remember something. I get a name. John Defoe. He's important in some way. In fact, I think I spent many years researching him. I've never heard that name before. You don't remember why you were working for the Order? I'm afraid not. So what do you remember? Not much. A few flashes now and then. Images and sounds. No dates or details attached. I remember John Defoe, as I said, and from that name a few other memories returned. Uh, standing on a hill, watching something burning in the distance. Hi, Chris. Hello. Welcome. My hands covered in blood. 
and then a place that was two places at once. I'm lying on something hard, my stomach really hurts, and someone is talking to me. But it's mostly a fog up until the moment I woke up here. So you woke up here? Well, not right here. I just felt myself gravitate to this spot. Like something important happened here. Yes! This is where you were killed! So you said. Yes. I suppose that would explain it. Maybe you should look around where you woke up. What was your name again? DeCabe. Theodore DeCabe. You've been a great help, Mr. DeCabe. Excuse me, won't you? Range. All right. Let's follow him. Ah, this door's now open. Oh. Let's see what's in here. Oh, boy. <laughs> ah. <laughs> it's part of the complex intranet. With him randomly, just nonchalantly agreeing with everything, it made me think of Bacchano when Isaac and Maria were talking about their friend's birthday, and then they're like, well, we're not his parents, so we can't really give him a baby brother. Yes, unfortunately, that is how biology works. Uh, <laughs> it's spotless. It looks like it's com been completely scrubbed clean. I can see some vials of blood and plasma in there and some lumps of tissue in petri dishes. A glass cylindrical tube, just about big enough for a human to stand in. It's no technology I recognize. There's someone in there, with skin as white as alabaster. I can't make out any features. I don't think they have any. Let's look at the computer. Most of the hard drive is scrubbed, only one file left. I'll add it to my journal. The Clan Bronwyn Hotel incident took the soul of the bridge keeper from us and delayed the coming of the king for hundreds of years. But, at the same time, it brought the prince to us, with the solution already in hand. The prophecy in the books of Cho demands that the guide assists the creation of the bridge. Obviously, he could not do that if he was long since dead of old age. But the sample of his blood provided by the prince was enough to ensure that the guide would exist for more than long enough to fulfill his destiny. There's nothing on it and no cabinets. It looks like there's something on it, but apparently not. I can't see any possible use for any of the stuff in there. I'm not sure what... I'm not sure I want to disturb their sleep. Oh, look, a hat. There's something awfully familiar about it. Yes, I wonder what's familiar about this very symbolic hat. <laughs> and another book. Let's pick up the book. I'll add it to my journal. At this time, another came to the tree that was the prince's soul, and this other was of the faith, but blinded by pride, and so he was the prideful acolyte. And the prideful acolyte threw down the guide, and subjecting the guide to the blessed agony of the body, he called forth the prince, and the prince crossed over to the land of technology. And the prince was much displeased, for the prideful acolyte would, in his arrogance, interfere with the destiny of the guide. And so he threw down the prideful acolyte, and the prideful acolyte became the puppet, and knew the name of the king. And with great fear did the guide take up the soul of the bridgekeeper, immune to its influence, for the bridgekeeper was also greatly fearful, and he hid the soul of the bridgekeeper away, to a place where it would meet its final destiny. Mm -hmm. And the prince and the puppet took their message to the Order of Blessed Agonies. Oh. It wouldn't suit me. Of course it wouldn't. Prince and the puppet? Isn't that a Barbie movie? <laughs> Let's talk to Trilby. It won't... Oh, I apparently I clicked on the cylinder. Yes? <laughs> what is this place? No idea. But this is where I woke up. I've never seen technology like this. Huh. What year is it? 
it's 2189. Oh, I can't remember what year it was the last time I checked. But I'm pretty sure I've lost a century or two somewhere along the way. Anything coming back? Nothing from this room. But the more I think about the name John Defoe, it's like there's something scrabbling at the back of my mind. I feel I'm on the verge of rediscovering something terrible. Something that almost destroyed me. Listen, this complex is dangerous. I think there's something haunting us. It's already killed someone. We need to find a way out of here. And go where? All the answers I seek are here. I just have to find them. You could be killed! Death didn't stop me last time, apparently. If what you say is true, you're the one who should be worrying. Could you help me open a door? Not right now. I wish to remain here until I remember something. How long will that take? How should I know? I have to go. Oh. Hmm. Alright. I guess let's go try and talk to Janine. Since she apparently... I'm, I'm guessing she went back to the sleeping quarters. Nope. I'm gonna have a little snooze. <laughs> That's Samantha's blood. By the time she was dead, she has lost. She had lost virtually all of it. That is not all the blood. Uh, Maybe it is. There, there. Mm, it is. I don't think that's the amount of blood that would be in a human. I'm not. I think there's a lot it. more. I'm not touching it, Ickers. All right. No, nope, Trilby, go. Not Trilby. Fucking Decabe. Damn. <laughs> I'm used to yelling at Trilby. The door won't open. Janine must have locked herself in. It won't reply. Fine, I'll call Janine. What the hell? It says here Samantha's phone is still switched on. I'm almost certain we turned it off before laying her out. Who should I call? Samantha? C. D. Who is this? Two... Seven, four, one. What? I can't... They hung up. Game theory, is the person on the phone actually gassed her? Huh. That's what... <laughs> what? Where are you? I'm in the sleeping quarters. And don't tell me to come out. I don't understand anything that's happening... I don't even remember how I got here. Are you all right? Yes. No. No, I'm not all right. Sam is dead. I know, but Sam is dead and I think I'm going mad. Why do you say that? I remember Sam dying. I remember taking her to the medical bay. But then everything goes blank. I'm scared. Something happened to you last night. You were there? What did I do? You were acting odd, like you were someone else. And you were talking to me like I was someone else. Oh God, I remember. I remember talking to you, but it wasn't me. It was like looking through the eye holes of a mask. And I knew that the thing I was it makes me feel so sick. Please come out of the sleeping quarters. No! I don't want to! Please, Janine. There's something out there. It's going to kill us both! You'll never escape from the complex. I don't care. I'd rather starve in here than die like Sam did. Why can't you leave me alone? I need you to get the hub open again. That's your strategy? It's our only way out. 
The reason behind this whole mess, it's in the hub. They have to bench their feet. I can feel it. Too. It's like I'm being drawn to it. Sam was murdered when she went in there. I know. All the more reason to see what's important enough to kill for. You're insane. And you're on your own. What if I found out for certain what's inside the hub? Would you help me get inside? If it was safe. I'd have to... It'd have to be really, really safe. Like a pretty... Like a petting zoo or equivalent. <coughs> and you'd still be going in on your own. Fine. Do you notice any changes in the main corridor? No, I don't. Honestly? Yes! You don't see it transforming? Becoming some kind of dungeon? Brick walls? Blood everywhere? Dirt floor? What are you talking about? Isn't it always like that? Interesting. <laughs> are you coming <laughs> out? No! Talk to you later. All Isn't right. it always like that? Can't tell if you're trying to be emo or you already were mad. All right. Well. Oh. Well, before oh. we before we get some, actually no, let's let's get some answers. Hello, Canning. Back again. Can it, Canning? Doctor Hardy is dead. Reap what you sow. Doesn't that bother you in the slightest? You and your whole insane order are accessories to murder. Once we get out, you're going to do a lot of time for this. Your words are like the warbles of a sparrow. The Order of Blessed Agonies fears no mortal agency. We are under divine protection. What do you mean, protection? We are under the guiding hand of God. The king, Cho, and when he enters this world, I don't even know why I'm talking to you. You're just a brainwashed lunatic. Your words are sounding hollow even to you, are they not? Tell me what Dr. Hardy was doing here. You mean you still haven't figured it out? I'd be disappointed if I felt even a shred of respect for you. Just tell me! We were allowing her to fulfill her chosen role. In this case, the field of biochemistry. Who can ask for anything more? I'm prepared to negotiate your release. How utterly tiresome. Just answer my questions. Without deviating from the subject. Without personal attacks or evasion or dogma and promise to cooperate with us. Freedom is too small a reward for such betrayal. You are just a wretched man. You can barely stand on your own legs. I have the ear of the king. What is in the hub? Very little. Very little of anything corporeal, anyway. What does that mean? It means that most standard scientific tests would indicate that the hub is largely empty. And what is in there has absolutely no purpose. But we, the followers of the true way, know different. This isn't helping at all. I didn't intend it to. What is the purpose of this facility? Now you know I'm not going to answer that. No, and I know why. It's because you don't know, do you? You're just as much a patsy in this as we are. Now you're just wasting breath. So why have the Order abandoned you down here? My brethren have given me this responsibility as a gesture of recognition and respect. Something you, of course, would know nothing about. Why is the main corridor changing? In what way is it changing? You know, it's turning into some kind of dungeon, I suppose. 
Filthy walls and floor. Blood splatters everywhere. Now how could I know that? I've been stuck in here this whole time. So you say it changes before your very eyes? Are you hearing voices, too? Forget it. Your guard seems to be alive again. So you think he rose from the grave? I don't know what to think. Thinking is something you need to do more of, boy. <laughs> he doesn't boy. remember working for you. Of course not. He never does. Were I not trapped in here, I would have been able to give him his usual instructions. How many times have you had to do that? Your questions bore me. Come back if you ever figure anything out. Who is, who is John Defoe? Ah, now we're getting somewhere. John Defoe is the bridge keeper. It is through him that the king will enter our world. Where is he? He's all around us. Then again, he's also drifting off somewhere in deep space. Give me a straight answer for God's sake. There is no straight answer to your question, only gay ones. Why do you ask it anyway? <laughs> Trilby told me the name. It's just about the only thing he remembers. Mere words will not fully restore a lost memory. A picture does a better job. What picture? I'll tell you what. If you can figure out by yourself what work Dr. Hardy was doing for us, I'll help you. I've figured out what Dr. Hardy was doing. Do tell. I think she was a cloner. You had her creating multiple copies of Trilby. And when I thought I saw him come back to life, it was just a different clone. Oh. Congratulations! And now the more complex oh, question. Why? Why, what would we need the clones of this particular individual for? I... I don't know. You don't know anything about the Defoe Manor incident? Oh. The Clan Bronwyn Hotel oh. incident? No. Huh. Forget it, then. All right. You want to know what could jog his memory? Here is my advice. A newborn often reacts positively to an image of its mother. That's all you can give me? That's all I intend to give you. I'm not your personal oh. advisor, boy. Damn. Hey, Chad. The best really insult is. you can give anyone is just, sorry, leave me alone. You're boring. Canning is very he he's very wordy. I I like the way he talks to you. I, I love I love characters that are like very deep but also dumb. <laughs> now, now we're getting Not somewhere. Dumb. Oh, now we're getting somewhere. Indubitably. I think the ID card she wore in her lab coat bore her picture. If I can just retrieve it. Damn, it isn't here. Where'd it go? Janine. What? Do you have Dr. Hardy's ID card? I just wanted to remember her in some way. Don't judge me! I'm not judging you. Don't Can I fucking it? judge me. I'm not coming out. Could you just open the door a second to pass it to me? No! Anything could get in! Alright, I guess we've got one more thing we need to do. Don't fucking judge me. I'll make my own sandwich. I'll make my own sandwich. Subway, eat fresh. Just eat fresh. Subway, eat your sandwich. The news is mine, you stupid child. Give me your phone. Peter Griffin says, you're stupid. Let's see, what did you it say? 2741? It's I some kind so. of wide circular chamber viewed from above. This must be the hub. Strange. 
From the look of it, there's nothing in it but the remains of some old ruined building. Hmm. Huh. Alright. Let's download the image. You torrent download complete. I'm going, I'm going this way. No, you're not going this way. Somebody told you life was gonna be this way. I'm gonna <laughs> break your face. Damn. Alright. <coughs> Excuse me, Janine. I've seen what's inside the hub. You have? Can you show me? I've got the image on my phone. I'm sending it to you now. I see it. There's nothing to be afraid of, see? <laughs> it's just some old ruin. Whatever killed Dr. Hardy is gone now. Yes, I see. It's funny, but when I see this, I don't feel so afraid. Like I'm seeing a place where, where I can find peace at last. Oh. Will you help me get there? Uh, sure, but you'll have to come out of the sleeping quarters. Fine. No. I'll wait for you outside the hub. We have to get in there. Uh... Are you coming out of the sleeping quarters? No. Uh, okay, she teleported. <laughs> I was one. I was expecting her to yeah. walk out. No, damn. Of course, the one time I expected her to walk out like Samantha did whenever you call her to tell her the guard is gone. No, she's just magically here mm -hmm. like a ghost. So fucking okay. uh, what? A ghost. I love how every what? time she answers, she sounds like she's drunk or high. What? <laughs> Do you have Dr. Hardy's ID card? I just wanted to remember her in some way. Don't judge me. I'm not judging you. Can I borrow it? Uh, sure. <laughs> nice. Thanks. Dr. Nice. Hardy's photo I It's Dr. Hardy's photo ID. She looks as serious as always. So Ari, I don't think you I don't think you've picked up on the connection with um our esteemed doctor friend and a certain someone else. Uh. Did you ever notice that our esteemed doctor friend always has her hands in her pockets? <laughs> and have you also noticed that her last name is very similar to a certain leather jacket wearing douchebag? Um. You getting anything from this? I don't this pick up on small details. <laughs> <laughs> it took me a while to remember as well. I don't Ex blame you. Excuse me. Take a look at this picture. Who is this? Samantha Hardy. Do you know her? Hardy. Maybe there's something about her face. Could I meet her? She's dead. Hardy. Dead. I... I don't know. Oh, Jesus! It wasn't me! It used my hands, but it wasn't me! What? I'm so sorry, Philip! You didn't... You didn't deserve... What are you... Why are you doing this to us? Calm down! You're freaking out! I apologize. Some memories returned with suddenness that caught me off guard. Nothing that answers why I'm in this facility, however. Listen, I need your help. There's a door that needs two people to open it. I think that behind it we can both find the answers we seek. That seems like a good place to start as any. Please lead the way. I'm back, Janine. If only I... Good. Let's... Uh... Ah! Stay away from me! No! What on earth's the matter? 
It's him! Oh god! I'm so frightened! Wait a second. What? Trilby is the one you're so scared of? Of course! Who else would it be, for God's sake? Madam, I don't even know who you are. Why are you so afraid of him? What do you think he'll do to you? I don't know! I don't know why I'm so scared! But just, I just look at him and I feel like I'm going to faint! Janine, listen to me. He's not with the Order anymore. He's lost his memories. He won't hurt us. I promise. We need him if we're going to open this door. And once it's open, we'll be able to get into the hub. Yes, the hub. Uh, okay. Let's get these wheels turned. Er, could you just... Could you stand between me and him? Sure. Why isn't it working? It worked last time! Maybe the fuse is blown. You've got to fix it! Please! I have to get in here! Okay, okay. I'll take care of it. Oh. Good job! <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> we, yeah. Wait, I know why Kobe is alive again. It's because someone showed his corpse a hand. <laughs> I, 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 I did a funny little spin and everything. I don't know much about electrics, but one of the fuses definitely looks burnt out to me. Alright, well why don't we use that handy dandy staple we picked up earlier to bypass the fuse. That ought to do the trick. Oh. That's how we start fires. <laughs> yes, but they're trying to get out. I don't think they care. Although there is a, although there is a barrel of petroleum sitting there, so Oh. Oh oh. Where's Janine? She went on ahead. I tried to stop her. But she just ignored me. Come on. Oh boy. What's this? Uh. Who are you? We are doormen. Our task is to stand here, always. I am the doorman. Did a woman pass through here? Yes. Why didn't you stop her? Our task is only to stand here. Not to <laughs> monitor who goes in or out. Oh, are these no. clones? Oh, what? No. Oh, are these clones of me? Or... Yeah, I think so. Am I a clone? Yes. Ah. I did consider it one of the likelier possibilities. It explains pretty much everything. Shall we continue? Uh, sure. Are we going in? I'm scared. You don't know what to expect? I've seen what's in there on the security camera. It's just a bunch of ancient ruins. But I don't know. It's like what Janine talked about. A completely irrational fear. Janine may be in danger. I know. I know! Okay, let's do this. What? Quite literally, uh. deja vu. <clears throat> Mr. DeCabe! Janine? What? What's going on? Where what? am I? What? Theo? Are we in the hub? I think so. But this isn't the ruin I saw. I know this place. John Defoe. This is where he lives. How do you know? Because this is where I destroyed him. Where I thought I destroyed him. 
where I trot where I tied his spirit to his bones and set him ablaze. But oh. that was just a movie. No, it Look out! Uh, oh. What the hell was that? What's happened to the walls? Oh shit. No. Not you! No! <coughs> what? <coughs> Janine, wait! Oh. Do you understand, Theodore DeCabe? No! No, I do not understand! I don't understand why I'm being put through this nightmare! I don't understand the things I'm seeing! And I don't understand why you can't give me a simple, straight answer! If straight answers are what you require, then I will accommodate you. The house you saw is called Defoe Manor. It does not, however, physically exist. It is a construct of John Defoe's mind, a manifestation. So why the hell is it here? When John Defoe died, his mind and body went into his house. When Trilby burnt it down 200 years ago, he assumed that both were destroyed. But the infection of Defoe's mind clung to the ruins and to the very land on which it stood, even while his body burned away. The Order of Blessed Agonies built this facility around it. Measures had to be taken, however, to ensure that the infection would not spread. What measures? Let me re reiterate what the cultist asked you. Why was Samantha Hardy employed to clone Trilby of all people, multiple times. I haven't got a clue! Clues you have For his plenty notes. of. Think, Decabe. Why Trilby? Think. Because John Defoe is scared of him. Why do you say that? Back there, in the manor. As soon as Trilby was removed, everything started going berserk. Indeed. For a wrath, being crammed inside your rotting corpse, or rotting bones, is a traumatic and painful experience. Sorry, for a wraith. That. To then be shot down and set alight, unable to die, to feel the constant agony of body and mind reduced to ash. Until then, Defoe feared only his father. Afterwards, Trilby was, in his mind, the embodiment of pain. And his mere presence acts as a ward against Defoe. Trilby was, from then on, utterly immune to Defoe's corrosive influence, although he never realized it. And only with a constant presence of Trilby throughout the complex could the evil of Defoe's mind be restrained within the hub. But the tall, thin man, the one with the coat, he's the head of the Order, right? Correct. Why does he keep killing the Trilbys? That I do not know. But I do know that the more of them that die, the further Defoe bleeds into the surrounding complex. You may not have long. What will happen? Defoe is a creature of monstrous violence. Samantha Hardy's fate, I fear, was only the beginning. Oh, God. Is Janine all right? Perhaps you should find out. Janine! Oh, boy. No. No, not again! No, shit. No! No, shit! Oh, no. Janine! <laughs> open the door! Janine, no, please! <laughs> please, open the door! Janine, for God's sake! Open the damn door! I'm sorry, Theo. I know. I'm just so scared. I know. It keeps happening! I don't even remember going into the hub! You blacked out? I was waiting for you outside the door. Then I was the late night nothing. session was so good. And the next I knew, I was in that room in front of you. 
I'm scared out of my mind because there's something. Something's trying to take me over. Look at me, okay? Nothing's going to take you over. I'm not going to let that happen. I can feel it all around me. Watching. Whispering in my ear all the time. Janine. Just hold me. Aww. Aww. Okay, that's relatable. Oh! Something tells me not to. I ignore him. Ah! <laughs> Something no, tells they me didn't. I'm taking advantage. I ignore Oh, no, they did. Something oh. tells me to stop when it starts to hurt. I ignore ah. it. <laughs> Evil I raging outside that. our door, we comfort each other. Damn. Through love and pain, we bond. <laughs> By the sixth day, we would both be dead. What? Day, what? Day four, July 27th, 2189. So, what is it now? I got laid. Oh, fuck it. <laughs> Just go in there. Wow, someone's got their cherry uh, pop. You have what are you doing? no idea. No! Uh, uh, yeah, homie gets laid uh, once and immediately starts killing. Oh. Look, I have the power of God in anime. It was, it was a dream. Janine? Man. Man, through all the pain, love, and broken bones, they just like... Yeah. <laughs> I'm I'm not going to lie. I have had the soundboard up and ready with my cursor on that sound the entire time. <laughs> <laughs> Waiting for that moment like yes. I'm just imagining that music but played by kazoos. <laughs> I don't even want to question why. No, they were both when you're scared. In times of when you're in times of stress, yeah. sometimes you get desperate. And sometimes so, emotions so they decide to, so, <laughs> they decide to fuck. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, you'd be surprised. <laughs> yeah. It is a way to release endorphins. And you she wanted somebody to, cl to essentially comfort her. And... He had a very nice, pretty lady rubbing off, rubbing all over him. My God! <laughs> he had a broken arm and a leg, and a, well, and, a, and, a and a hairline fracture in his skull. Mm -hmm. Oh my yeah, God! Good action. But he got head in the end. <laughs> all right, oh, I'm, I'm gonna end the recording no. here. All right, um. three, two, one.